Where do I start? Who even am I though? I really need to get layers cut in my hair. Check me out with sunglasses on my head. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess, also known as the Fat Funny One. And hello. Um, if you've not landed on my channel before, then welcome. It is basically a mix of everything um i'm a mum of four i talk a lot about that and um, there's a lot of shopping hauls parenting confidence stuff all sorts of stuff so if you would consider subscribing i'd really appreciate it and join me on this youtube journey but today's video is all about shopping i have gone to boots which is like a a drugstore i think you'd call it in america i have got loads of hygiene products i realize that i'm a busy mum of four um and it's not always easy to, you know, have these luxurious showers that I, I once had and dream of. But I really want to make it a point of doing that for myself. Um, it is an act of self-care, but it's also just a basic need that I need to have met. And I have decided that I'm going to get some lovely products. I'm going to spend more time in the shower. I'm going to spend more time on me. And I'm going to, yeah, treat myself. So I have bought a whole load of products, which are just hygiene products, but... I wanted to share with you what I got. Let's get straight into it. So first thing I got was this. It is the Ted Baker like body spritz set. It was £8, the gift set on offer. Um, I will say on offer quite a lot because basically everything I got was on offer. Um, but I love a little spritz. I think it's great to have one in your car, one in your bag. I have one in my changing bag. And whenever I just feel a bit like, oh, I just need to freshen up, I can have a spritz of something lovely. I got this one in a gift set years ago that I got at Christmas I think my mum bought it for me and I loved it so I thought this was really good and because they're so small they are 50 mils and um, they will fit in your bag or your changing bag or your purse or whatever or in your car glove compartment or whatever you want to do with it but yeah I got a couple of these next thing now I've been on a scrub mission so I have shouted from the rooftops about this one it is the soul providers body scrub from beauty pie I have cancelled my beauty pie membership not for any reason there's nothing bad happening i just have paused it to um see if i can find some cheaper alternatives it's really good value for money but i just want to try and get things a little bit cheaper and i wanted to stop and minimize all my subscriptions that were going out month to month so beauty pie's gone i need a replacement for that soul providers body scrub that's the last one i had because i always used to buy them literally in bulk because they sold out so quickly so i've bought a few new ones to try to see if I can find a replacement for that scrub. I actually think the Sanctuary one was going to be the closest because it was more of a sugar scrub, which that one is, and they didn't have any in stock. So I've got some backups. So the first one I got was this Soap and Glory Fruity Scrub. This doesn't feel like it's going to be sugary. I've not got high hopes for this, but it looked all right. I quite like Soap and Glory stuff. I always used to get a gift set for Christmas. Um, they always smell quite strong in a good way so I thought that would be quite good um, so yeah it was also on offer <laughs> so I got it um, if you've used it let me know um, but that will be my first try now the second one I've got to try is this Dove I think it's Shea Butter and Pomegranate Body Scrub Exfoliating Body Scrub I have seen so many good things about this, so many reviews, particularly um, on American YouTubers who do like really great hygiene videos and hygiene product recommendations. And Dove is just up there. I use Dove products already. I use their nourishing body wash. Um, I use some of their hair products and I use their deodorant but spray and roll on. I'll come on to deodorant because I've bought some there, but never a body scrub. So I'm hoping this is going to be nice. It looks quite, it doesn't look like they've got much like, scrubby bits like grains in it so i don't know but yeah apparently this is the bomb.com so i got it my final one and i'm a bit like uh, about this one is the soap and glory zen warming body scrub like that's that's a bit suspect to me i'm not gonna lie i'm a bit uh, but i also really like the idea of it it's um an expertly blended relaxing fragrance with notes of lavender and tonka bean combined with an indulgent warming sensation. It does sound nice, particularly if you're going to have a really nice, long, luxurious shower before bed, which is basically my plan. I thought it would sound, it sounds quite nice. Um, 
but I also don't really like that warming feeling I don't know I love a hot shower but that just feels a bit weird we'll see so um I got this it was on offer it was £4.25 so yeah we'll see now continuing on with that speaking of Dove products I got a new deodorant so I got the maximum protection Dove stick I'll show you what it looks like it's the one that you like scroll up or swipe up gosh how much do I use the internet twist up and then it comes out of the top here now this is the one that I normally use um so I usually use this one and I don't know where my roll-on is I normally use my roll-on too but the problem with that is I find the roll-ons really wet I can't explain it I love it and it smells good and it, it feels nice but it's really really wet so then you kind of got to wait for it to dry to put your clothes on but again I've seen loads of people recommend this one um so I thought I would give it a go this fragrance or is pomegranate with lemon verbena scent I don't know what that is but we're gonna try it I am someone who gets very sweaty like I just have always been that way I if I'm really nervous particularly if I'm really nervous or really anxious um in the summer just yeah I get hot and sweaty if I'm traveling and I find it so uncomfortable and it used to really embarrass me it still does a little bit I've kind of grown in who I am and just accepted it and you know do things to try and make myself feel better um and yeah it's been really really hard like I'd avoid this sort of colour shirt I would never have worn before um because I would have been so worried about sweat patches and stuff but I don't have that um with the Dove products and yeah I it just I would never have worn stuff like this before and I know it sounds really silly but sweating can be really frustrating and really really embarrassing and I remember when I did my very very first show um I wore a grey t-shirt and I was so nervous obviously it's my very first show and oh my gosh I sweated and I just did the whole thing like this and I held the mic like this and I just looked visibly uncomfortable um and I don't think there's any shame in sweating like it's literally something our bodies just do but there is a massive stigma around being sweaty and oh anyway I have tried so hard to find the right products for me I've tried the Mitchums and the really expensive stuff I looked into getting Botox injections into your armpits like I've honestly but I really wanted to establish and what it's taken is establishing a really really good routine almost like a skincare routine but for my armpit now the next thing I got <sighs> but for my areas okay you'll know what I mean so I got this Venus um Gillette satin pubic hair and skin starter pack I have never used a shower cleanser product gel mousse or anything when I've shaved not my underarms not my areas nothing like I've never done that not my legs literally nothing and I can't understand why and I started watching some really great when I was trying to establish a really good armpit routine I know that sounds so silly um but honestly I, I looked everywhere and YouTube has some really really great videos loads of people recommended this so particularly the shower gel like the shave gel sorry so I thought I'd give it a go this kit worked out cheaper than buying the products separately so that's what I've done um but yeah I'm looking forward to using it um it's a two-in-one cleanser and shave gel so you just rub a small amount onto the wet skin to form a lather and then obviously shave so yeah I'm gonna be interested to see the difference that that makes um although anything's gonna make a difference right now because listen I'm a mom of four so Hey, nobody had time for that. Nobody, nobody. So I needed reinforcements because this is going to take more than just that box to deal with it. So I bought this one as well, mainly because of the leopard print. I know, don't come for me. I bought something because of the packaging. Um, but yeah, I got this one. Um, oh, I thought I picked up the pack of five, but it's five razors and one pack in here. Look, like it's got five blades, sorry, um, but it's one in the packet. That's my fault um but anyway this is the coconut special edition i just really like the leopard print um but i needed i needed backups so 
We'll need all of these. We really trust me. I'll probably go back and buy some more. I also got some exfoliating gloves. They had some cheaper ones. These were £1.50. Um, and they had more expensive ones. But these were kind of the nice roughness. Obviously, the rougher the better because they're for exfoliating. But because I'm using it with a scrub, I didn't want too much because I didn't want to cause any abrasions or anything. So, a pack of exfoliating gloves. Oh, I've skipped a product. Um, I obviously was on, on a mission um a hair removal mission shall we say because i've also picked up this satin care shower no i keep calling it shower gel shave gel and um, this one's in aloe vera and it's specifically for sensitive skin they were about two pounds something which i was surprised at. i don't know why i assumed they'd be more expensive but i guess i had no really idea how much these products would be because i've never used them before so yeah um i got this one after i've exfoliated and hair removed and done all of that from head to toe i love a really nice shower gel i prefer a foam i do use the dove moisturizing shower it's the big white one with the blue lid but i wanted to treat myself i love really strong smelling nice ones i'm actually using cow shed at the minute which i wouldn't have paid for myself but i got given it as a gift when i had the baby and a gift set and it is so nice it doesn't lather up the same as what i would like um so i've gone for some mousses actually the most bougie shower product is my is it locatan loxatan shower oil oh it's so nice it is so nice if you're feeling bougie and want to splurge definitely get it the shower oil it's beautiful anyway i got some mousses so the first one i picked up was this dove argan oil shower mousse it looked really nice there were loads of them lined up and again i trust dove products i've used them before i really like them i thought i would try it oh this is a shower and shave yeah i got this it's got argan oil in it we'll see then I was feeling a little bit bougie, but there's only so bougie you can get in booze. But they had this on offer, and it's the Sanctuary Foam. It's a shower burst, three-day long-lasting moisture. Cla listen, to, listen. this is like, what's the name? This is like, um, this is like the Nigella Lawson description of this shower gel. Clouds of decadently nourishing cleansing foam enriched with gold of what? I'm reading that right. Gold of pleasure oil. With gold of pleasure. I am. Look, I swear that's what it says. Clouds of decadently. No, I'm reading it backwards. Anyway. Clouds of decadently nourishing cleansing foam enriched with gold of pleasure oil. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, it sounded bougie. It was also on offer. I think it was £5.25, which is pricey for a shower, but like for a foam. Normally I pay like a pound for the, like the Imperial Level ones on offer, um, or Dove is always on offer. Um, but yeah, I got these, so I thought I'd try it. Next thing I got wasn't just for me, I actually ended up getting the whole family one, and it's some new toothbrushes. I got some new electric toothbrushes. These are the Oral B ones. Never pay full price for an electric toothbrush. Like, they always go on offer. Trust me, they always go on offer. So I wanted this pink one here for me. I needed a new one. And it was £45, half price, because it was £90 originally. But then Trevor was like, oh, can you get me a replacement head for his toothbrush? But this box was £70. So if I'd bought my one for £45 plus his replacement head, it would have been near enough the same money. So I just decided to get two new ones. And actually, if Trevor doesn't want the whole thing, I can give that or pass it on to somebody who does need it. So I got this one for me, uh, this one for Trev. And then I got this one for Sophia. She needed a new one. And again, it worked out better value for money to get the whole new toothbrush because this was only £20. It's for age six plus. It's the one she's already got. She loves it. And then I did get a frozen one for Isabella. And I've got a sneaky feeling she's already taken it out the bag. But I got a frozen one for Isabella, which I think was the kind of branded animated ones at age three plus. So she got a new one of those. So yeah, we got that. We've got toothpaste and stuff, but we needed new toothbrushes, so there we are. But these products aren't for me, but I thought I would give them a go. So I've never used them before. It's My Little Coco. It is the range from Rochelle Humes. 
so i got two different products here i got this is the curling custard um and the one i just showed you was the detangling water i use a lot of detangling spray on the girl's head i've been through so many brands the johnson ones i love it was two pound if you can get it on offer and it is really really good but i try and try different ones to see if i can get a better result particularly because both the girls have very different hair so what often works on Isabella's hair doesn't quite work on Sophia's as do also do a really good detangling spray um but I've heard really good things about my little cocoa my only thing price wise hmm, it was 5 99 for each of these which is a bit pricey for me um says me who just spent 5 25 on a shower foam but just in comparison so It'll be interesting to see, um, but I've heard really, really good things. JJ, I currently use a Child's Farm uh, one for his curls, because, again, his hair is very different. Sophia, I use Cantu, which I've bought, and I'll show you. Um, and so, yeah, I was going to try these on Isabella's hair, but I've got a feeling they might not be enough, because she's got a lot of hair. And then Cantu. So I got the Cantu Kids detangling spray for Sophia she can use this on her own obviously she's nearly 10 but she has like a little drawer of hair products and stuff so this is her go-to she loves it she's just finished um her bottle so yeah she's got that and then I got this for Isabella it's a leave-in conditioner um I actually think it might be for adult hair um but her hair is very similar to mine and it's yeah she just she needs a good leave-in conditioner that will keep it soft um because it can get so dry because yeah it, she just she hates getting it but doing Isabella's hair in fact this morning I was thinking of like while I was doing it I literally hold my breath it's like trying to stop a bomb from going off you know when you're watching movies when they're like shaking and they've got to cut a wire that is how i feel doing isabella's hair i feel like one wrong move and poof, like all hell's gonna break loose um and so i'm literally nervous because i'm trying really hard not to like pull at it because she's so tender-headed if you know what that term means it just means she's got a soft scalp look she's a really sensitive scalp so um she's just tender-headed like when i was younger my mum would just be like brushing and combing my hair and i could just hack it and i just got used to it but she mm -mm. so yeah i'm trying to try some new products to really get the combination of what i use on her hair right i think that's everything once i've used some of these products i will come back and do a video about my full hygiene routine what i use if i've loved any of these products um or gone back to what i've been using before um, and share with you what i thought about them because obviously some of them are quite new like the body scrubs and stuff so the routine is the same but some of the products are changing so i will let you know what that is if you've got any products you think i should try um, or things that you are loving then let me know thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to like and subscribe if you do subscribe thank you so much and yeah that's it from me take care bye